I'm Sophia, and I'm with Cable Apps. Today, we're at my home in Crawford, Colorado. Crawford is a rural area on the western slope of Colorado. But I'm not here to brag about the scenery. We're actually here today to talk about Wi-Fi and what you can do to improve your Wi-Fi signal. How do you get the best performance of Wi-Fi in your home? There are three simple things that we can do to help make sure that you're getting the best performance. One of those things that makes the biggest difference is location, location, location. Right now, we're kind of at the hub of the house where all the activities happen, where you're watching TV, playing a game on your phone or iPad. This might be a good place to set your access point, but in some houses, that's not always the case. The center of the home might be in the very far corner, which could be really far away from the master bedroom or the office. So this might not be a good place for your access point. So try to pick a point where you know you're going to get good reception from devices that are connected to your access point. Just like your smartphone or your home computer, your access point runs software that needs to be updated. Frankly, most just set it and forget it, but that's not necessarily a good thing. So occasionally, go in and update the software on your access point. Most access points have a pretty easy to use interface where you can log in and say update router, and then it'll download the latest version from the cloud and apply those updates. And if you haven't already, make sure that you change the default user ID and password to keep your home network secure. Usually, our cable connection comes through the basement of the house but this doesn't mean it's the best location to place your access point. Though it may be easy to install here, it's actually best to lift it up and move it to a location where you're actually going to be using the Wi-Fi. Now, if your hangout spot or home entertainment system is downstairs, it may make sense, but consider moving it upstairs. It's not as hard to move as you may think it is. Moving your Wi-Fi out of the basement is actually pretty easy. You can go to your home store and pick up an ethernet cable, which isn't that expensive. And if you like to do things by yourself, you can fish that cable right up the wall and plug it into wherever your access point is. One of the best things that you can do for your home is upgrade your router. People regularly ask, how often should I upgrade to the latest technology? Well, it changes really fast. My recommendation is that you upgrade your router about as often as you upgrade your phone, which is about every two years. That's how fast this technology changes. Believe it or not, the orientation, the positioning of the access point can actually make a big difference in its performance. You would think that the signal would be uniform in all directions, and sometimes it does do a really good job. Usually when your network service provider installs an access point, they'll orient it to do some testing with it to make sure that you're getting the best Wi-Fi performance. But if you're using a third-party product, try experimenting with it. One of the tools that you can use is a speed test application. These are available on an Android or iOS. So try and download one of these and then do different tests around your house. You may find that you have really good performance and reception in the dining room, but poor reception in a master bedroom or office. This will help you with the orientation of your access point. I hope these tips have been helpful. I sure had fun bringing them to you. The team at Cable Labs is all about connectivity and connections. We love not only creating the technology, but improving it. Thank you.